We're just over one week away from the Monmouth University football team opening the 2013 season on the road at Montana State. Throughout camp, the position battles have been fierce. There are still a number of positions up for grabs as the Hawks get ready for the Bobcats. But one position that has been decided is the quarterback position. And the Hawks will go in to Bozeman with UMass transfer Brandon Hill leading the way. We were able to catch up with head coach Kevin Callahan, offensive coordinator Scott Van Zyl, and Brandon himself to get their thoughts on that tremendous quarterback competition throughout camp and that Hawks first game at Montana State. We know just from being at the majority of the practices, it was a heated competition. What, what did Brandon do to separate himself during those practices and then ultimately in Saturday's scrimmage? Well, I think that you know Brandon demonstrated the, the ability to, to consistently do things right, to move our offense. He had a, a, a calmness about him. He was able to grasp the offense in a, a very short period of time. Uh, he made some key throws, and he was just consistent day after day. And that's what we're looking for in a position. In, in addition to the quality leadership that we expect from our quarterback, we look for somebody that can, that can manage our offense, that can distribute the ball to the talented receivers and running backs that we have. Uh, we want to make the other offenses defend, or other defenses defend the entire field. And we felt that Brandon was the guy to do that. Depth for a coach, probably your best friend, and, and you could come out of this knowing that you do, and you mentioned some of it, you have a, a very deep position at quarterback. We do, and uh, you know I think we saw that through, not only back in spring practice, but also throughout the preseason period. It was a great competition. Uh, there are five quality players, qu quality young men at that position, and we would feel very good about any one of them leading our offense. It's just that you know at this point that Brandon Hill has a bit of the upper hand, and he's going to be our starter. Coach, you mentioned a few of those key points, balance, efficiency, not turning the football over. What are th those key tenets to Monmouth University football in order for a quarterback to be successful? You've had a long lineage of really good quarterbacks here in West Long Branch. What are those things you would look for, Brandon, and this crew to continue? Well, you know, first and foremost, we're looking for great leadership from the position. Uh, somebody that the other players in the offensive unit and, uh, and, and, and the team in general to the, that they'll look up to. You know, secondly, we're looking for somebody that can uh, operate within the framework of our offense, both in terms of the passing game and in the run game. Somebody that can get the ball to the players within our offense that we feel can make plays for us. And somebody that's got a very confident yet calm demeanor about them. And, and those are the qualities that I think all of our guys have. Uh, but Brendan just said, stood out a little bit more than the others. Coach, final question. You, you've had it where you, you come into a season most times, you, you kind of have a clear-cut idea of who the starter is going to be, and then there's been other times when you've had the wide-open competition. And the Hawks have been successful in seasons that they have both played out that way, going back to you know, Brian Boland and, and back to those days. When you go through that from the head coach, what, what are you trying to do every day in practice to, to test these guys or to get them ready to ultimately get on the field? Well, the, the, you know, the first thing that we want to do is make sure that it is a, a fair competition, that they're each getting an even number of repetitions and snaps you know, with the first and second units, and we try to balance that out. And we're looking to make sure that we're giving them opportunities to make plays, whether it's in two-minute situations, red zone situations, coming out situations. Uh, third down situations and we try to put all of the quarterbacks in those situations on a regular basis throughout the, the, the practice period throughout preseason and I think through those situational type things is, is where you see the, 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 the skills that you're looking for come to the surface. Well coach we appreciate a few minutes appreciate you breaking the news right here with us today and good luck moving forward ultimately leading up to Montana State. Thanks Eddie. That's the head coach of the Monmouth Hawks football program, Kevin Callahan. Big news out of West Long Branch today. Brandon Hill named the starting quarterback. Coach Van Zyl, big news today with the announcement that Brandon Hill will be the starting quarterback for the Monmouth University football team in the opener against Montana State. Yeah, you know, we were excited and we, we felt it was time uh, to make that decision. You know, uh, we had a great competition throughout preseason camp. Uh, really felt the guys continued to prove every single day, and it, it was very healthy competition. I thought it was very important. Uh, guys were very supportive of each other, pushed each other throughout the time. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, when we sat down and looked at the body of work, you know, coming out of this first scrimmage, we just felt at this time, you know, we had to make some sort of announcement uh, so we could get our offense working together uh, in these next couple of days, preparing for Montana State. And once we looked at everything, we just felt that Brandon Hill at this point gives us the best chance to be successful. Uh, showed a lot of poise. Um, he seemed very comfortable in the pocket. And, you know, that's one of the things I think swayed us is just his level of comfort, especially for only being here for two weeks. 
I was going to say, Coach, to build on that point, what specifically did you see from Brandon throughout camp and this first scrimmage that maybe he separated himself a little bit from the rest of that group? I think, you know, he, he continued to build every single day on the stuff that we were working on at night in the meetings. And he went out, he demonstrated that, you know, he had the ability to learn, to learn pretty quickly. And as we saw him pick up the offense, he was able to really let himself play free. And as he continued to do that, you know, he really started throwing the ball well. He understood where the ball was going, started to mesh with some of the receivers, get down timing and things like that. Um, and like I said, that just continued day after day. Uh, really didn't have any setbacks. You know, hey, every once in a while you're going to have a bad, bad play here or there. But, you know, he really seemed to progress nicely throughout camp. And I know something that all coaches like is depth. And the fact that this competition was so heated and went on for so long has to bode well for the, the quarterback position as a whole. Oh, absolutely. You know, we're in great shape right now at quarterback. You know, uh, you know, Brandon's going to get the nod, and you know, he's the number one at this point. Uh, but both Greg DePue and Terrence Scanlon had both had outstanding preseason camps, uh, and I think they're both in position that you know we feel very comfortable playing with either one of those guys as well. You know, we just felt that this time, you know, Brandon was just you know edged them out a little bit, but you know, we're we're very pleased with where they are. They both improved and and had some great days, um, and you know, I think it puts us in a great position. Coach, finally, what, what are those few things that you look and the, and the rest of the coaching staff look for for the quarterback at Monmouth University to do to be successful to win? What are those few things that you think they need to do specifically now, Brandon, in order to go out and get those wins? I think that the two main things, and probably number one, is that they have to be efficient. You know, we're, we're going to go out, we're going to be balanced offensively. We always have been. You know, we're going to throw, we're going to, you know, we're going to run, and we want to be balanced to, to make the defense defend all of our players. Uh, but that going along with that, you have to be efficient. You know, we can't turn the ball over. We can't have incomplete passes. We have to understand where the ball is going. And the other thing is we need someone who's going to go out and lead, someone that has confidence, that can go out, command the huddle. Um, not that we huddle, uh, but command the guys that are on the field. Uh, and Brandon showed the ability to do that. Well, Coach, we appreciate a few minutes today. Big announcement. Good luck moving forward. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time, Eddie.